What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Big Swole Diggy Suck. Now, this your boy, the finesse guy, J Diggy92, coming back at y'all with, as y'all can see, another on feet review. If you're new to the channel, what have you, you don't know what an on feet review is. This what it is right here, man. So, on feet review, I don't have a separate review for the shoe and then do an on feet i just compile them both together and i review it why y'all got the on feet going in the background so i go over what size you need how comfortable the shoe is what i think would look best with the shoe and then i get the hell up out the way and let y'all enjoy the rest of on feet so this video right here only four minutes so just give me like five six minutes of your time because i've been talking for a minute and then i'm gonna get y'all in and out cool cool so if you knew like i said Go ahead and hit that thumbs up, that like button for me. Go ahead and subscribe. Join the motherfucking God Squad. Best squad on YouTube. Couldn't eat you by motherfucker, all that good shit. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Without further delay or ado, hit that thumbs up, that like button. Let's get straight into it, man. Alright, so today we're gonna be reviewing the Converse Skid Grip Twisted Plaid Ox Shoes. Um, pretty much when I seen these. They reminded me of vans. I've been on a van wave. I've been on some like undiscovered heat type of waves or whatever. So I seen these. I was like, yo, these is dope as fuck. I need to cop these jumps right here. Um, there's another pair out there. It's like multicolored plaid or whatnot. I wasn't able to get them because they didn't have my size. But these definitely fit the bill perfectly in spite of those shoes. So as far as materials go, it's like the upper is very nice like suede type of feel almost um and then it's just a rubber outsole it's not that much going on but the shoe is fire so as far as sizing goes i went true to my regular nike size i know some of y'all might be asking in converse you wear like the chucks you wear full size down you don't need to do that go to your normal true to size not your converse size like whatever you wear in like nike and like vans that's where you wearing this do not go down a full size it ain't gonna work your feet gonna be screaming so true to size um comfort wise they feel like a pair of vans but that really thick rubber outsole is fire feels great on feet i'm not gonna cap i really love these shoes um so that out the way let's get into styling so personally i like the skinny pants or whatever like we can see right here the big pants for me personally just didn't do it like they swallowed up too much of the shoe. Might be because I got long ass feet. My shit look like plaid penguins. Look like a drippy ass penguin foot or whatever. I wear a size 12. So, I mean, it is what it is. But um, I really think like if you can get a stack, a really good stack going, you'll be straight. Or if you can pull off like that high water, like tapered look to where the bottom, it kind of float a little bit above the shoe. I feel like it looks 10 times better because it let a little bit of the shock sock show so if you got like sock drip these shoes will be good for you um but yeah anyways like you want a good stack or that high water look or you can have the zipper effect which you see in the background right here i think either one of those work but i just don't think the really bulky pants will work well with this shoe because it'll absorb too much of the shoe unlike uh, like a air force one or a jordan one or anything like that so that being said this is my part of the, the review done. Y'all go ahead and enjoy this on feed. Like I said, hit that thumbs up, that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Come back for more vids. We got bangers on bangers on bangers dropping. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. And I will see y'all in the next review. Y'all be easy. Peace.